Iran has issued a stark warning to Israel, escalating the already tense situation in the Middle East. This follows a recent attack on its military facilities, which has sent shockwaves through the region. The attack, which Iran attributes to Israel, resulted in the death of four Iranian soldiers causing national outrage and grief. Iran's foreign ministry condemned the attack in the strongest terms calling it an act of aggression. It vowed a strong and decisive response promising that such actions would not go unanswered. The ministry stated that Israel would face severe consequences for its actions, warning of potential retaliation. The statement from Tehran highlighted the already heightened tensions in the region, which have been simmering for months. It emphasized that Israel's actions were a dangerous provocation, risking further instability. The international community expressed deep concern over Iran's warning, urging both sides to exercise restraint. Many fear a potential escalation of violence in the volatile region, which could have far-reaching consequences. Israel defended its military action against Iran. The Israeli Defense Forces stated that the strikes targeted Iranian military infrastructure. These sites were allegedly involved in the production of long-range missiles. Israel claims these missiles were intended for use against its territory. The IDF emphasized that the strikes were precise and targeted military objectives only. Israel maintains that it took all necessary precautions to avoid civilian casualties. The international community remains divided on the legality and justification for Israel's actions. Some countries supported Israel's right to self-defense, others condemned the strikes as a violation of international law. The international community reacted with a mixture of condemnation and calls for restraint. The United Nations Security Council held an emergency meeting to address the escalating crisis. Most member states condemned the violence and urged both sides to show restraint. The United States, a close ally of Israel, expressed concern over Iran's actions but also urged restraint from both sides. The European Union echoed these sentiments calling for de-escalation and a return to dialogue. Russia and China, both critical of Israel's actions, called for an independent investigation into the strikes. Section 4, Humanitarian Crisis in Gaza. The recent escalation of violence has worsened the already dire humanitarian situation in Gaza, leaving countless families homeless and in desperate need of aid. The Gaza Strip, home to over 2 million Palestinians, has been under Israeli blockade for over a decade, creating a cycle of poverty and despair. The blockade has severely restricted the movement of people and goods, crippling the economy and exacerbating poverty, making daily life a struggle for survival. The recent violence has further damaged Gaza's already fragile infrastructure, leaving many without access to basic services like electricity and clean water. Hospitals are overwhelmed with casualties and there is a severe shortage of essential medical supplies making it difficult to provide adequate care for the injured. The United Nations has warned of a looming humanitarian catastrophe unless the international community takes immediate action to address the crisis, emphasizing the urgent need for coordinated relief efforts and sustainable solutions. Section 5. The Potential for Further Escalation The situation in the Middle East remains highly volatile with the potential for further escalation. Iran has vowed to retaliate against Israel, raising fears of a wider regional conflict. Hezbollah, an Iran-backed militant group based in Lebanon, has also threatened to get involved. Adding to the complexity, the conflict coincides with heightened tensions between the United States and Iran. The Trump administration's withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal and the reimposition of sanctions have strained relations. Any miscalculation or misstep by either side could ignite a wider conflagration with unpredictable consequences. Section 6, International Mediation Efforts. In light of the escalating crisis, several countries and international organizations have initiated mediation efforts to address the growing tensions. The European Union, Russia, and China are all actively trying to de-escalate the situation and prevent a full-blown war from erupting. These efforts are primarily focused on urging both sides to exercise restraint, avoid further provocations, and return to the negotiating table. However, given the deep mistrust and animosity between Israel and Iran, finding a peaceful resolution remains a daunting challenge that requires persistent efforts. The international community must remain actively engaged in seeking a diplomatic solution, leveraging all available channels and resources. 
failure to do so could have catastrophic consequences for the entire region and beyond, potentially destabilizing global peace and security.